Hey guys, it's Grim. So, um, tonight I wanna uh, give you guys um, a short tutorial on how to enable the multi factor authentication for your Office 365 tenant um, and basically set up the Microsoft uh, authentication app on your phone, uh, which is quite easy to do. Um, so you can have a very secure Office 365 environment without only filling in a password, but you also need to approve the, um, the, the, the login on your mobile device. So uh, I just got them right in front of me. I've got the Microsoft uh, online portal, so login.microsoftonline.com. Uh, well, you can see here it's, as it's in Dutch. Um, but nevertheless, it will be in English later on. So I just go on with the password and try to log on. Well, you can see that I've, I've created the test tenant just to uh, to show everything to you, uh, just to make sure that um, you know where to go um, from really the starting page of, uh, of Office 365. So the, the, the license that I use is a business premium license uh, within the test tenant. So effectively, I can do whatever I like um, within this license. Um, and it, it has the all the things that is normally included within the uh, within the test tenant. So if you use a test tenant or you use a normal tenant, as you would just buy your Office 365 uh, environment, doesn't matter. I mean, you can really just go ahead and do the same thing as I'm going to do tonight. Um, so that's to start with. Um, first things first. Um, I have created a user. That's the, that's the the test user, which I can effectively manage from the admin screen over here on the left. So when I um, use the, um, the the tile button over here, I can see the admin. Uh, within the admin, I can click it, and you can see that you go to the Office 365 Admin Center, Administrative Center. Um, where you can do lots of things. You can add users, change users, edit users. Uh, you can install software. If you have a business premium uh, license, there you can install local software on your, uh, on your laptop or PC or um, your tablet. Um, and if you have the, um, the business essentials license, um, you, you don't have everything, but um, I mean, the business premium license is the most advanced licenses for um, for normal um, small business users. Um, so next thing that we're going to do is we're going to the click um, edit a user button over here. Sorry. Right. Um, so instead of if clicking the edit a user button uh, we're gonna click in the menu on the left we're gonna click the users um, and then we're gonna click active users now you can see that there is a test user over here uh, that's the user that I'm currently using um, you don't have to click anything just yet uh, just click on the more button over here uh, you see the setup Azure multi-factor authentication button I'm gonna click that going to be transferred to a different site um, and then you can see your multi-factor factor authentication uh, you can see the users tab and then there's the service tab uh, which is well you don't you don't it's not very clear but there are basically two tabs over here right so if you're gonna go back to the um, users tab and you're gonna click the user that you would like uh, MFA enabled on because uh, you can see that the current status is disabled uh, so we're going to take a quick step we're going to take a quick step and that's going to enable the MFA right uh, here we go about enabling multi-factor authentication um, so please read the deployment guide if your users do not regularly sign in through the browser you can send them this link to register for multi-factor authentication so I'm going to copy that And I'm going to enable multi-factor authentication. So here we go. It seems to be online. Cool. One other interesting thing to know is that 
uh, if you're going to use an app um, like uh, an email client on your smartphone or you're going to use Skype for business um, or you have you want to set up a SharePoint app on your portable device for example your uh, your mobile phone um, or whatever in order to um, to set that up um, and that that's only if you have multi-factor authentication on your office 365 tenant enabled you gonna use an app password uh, in order to to access the the actual application itself because otherwise it won't be getting out your data so you're gonna click the service settings tab uh, and in the service settings tab you see the allow users to create app passwords to sign into non-browser apps so you're gonna click that one that's normally already selected uh, and a non-browser app is actually a mobile app so it's gonna be your SharePoint um, on app on your on your mobile for example or your email app on your mobile for example save the settings so this was actually the first part of, uh, of, of how to enable multi-factor authentication for Office 365 tenant. Um, afterwards, I'm going to create uh, two other videos that one is for two-step verification for your Office 365 browser app. Um, and the other thing is that we're going to create a, an, an app password for Office 365. So please make sure you're, uh, you're subscribed to my videos. Um, and if you like the video, please give thumbs up on the video. And I will speak to you in the next video.